rather than uh, investing in what I would call essential infrastructure mm. and uh, maybe listening. Or maybe, these, maybe they should invest in listening to what people within their own organization are saying because there's a lot of rational and sensible people who at this moment don't have a voice for their problems mm. because because of two reasons. Number one, the company is not listening to them. And number two, the employees are scared they're going to lose their jobs, which is real. Yeah. Because, because right now is a perfect time for any excuse to be used for, uh, you know, oh, well, you know, it's, it's <laughs> we can do without these people because we have to save money anyway. So um, um, once everything is automated, it's really, actually, once companies stop learning from their employees, where can they go? Where, no, where can the companies go? Like, I mean, companies get their forward momentum and movement and development from the understandings of the people in the organization. Let's take an example, right? If you're a, a Formula One racing team like Ferrari, and you want to go forward with your with, with, with the development of your organization. You need all the information you can get from all the people in your company mm. about what is happening. And it's so that you can see what's working and what's not working and then and then drive forward. <laughs> drive forward, right? So uh um when, so when companies stop listening to what's happening inside of the companies, they stop listening to their employees when the employees are even afraid to speak, it's the beginning of very slow downward spiral because once you, there's no, there, 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 there's no static point, right? There's, no, there's yeah. no balance. There's no static point. You're either, you're either going forwards or you're going backwards. Right, and if there is a balance point, it's for a very short period of time, and then it changes, because you're never you're never really completely balanced, and so there's always a fear that present employees have that the next generation of younger, fitter, faster, more ideological people will be better soldiers. You know, they come and yes, yes. sir, I'll get the job done. Whatever you want, whenever you want, just tell me and you say jump and I say how high. Yeah. Mm. But as the as the rage against the machine lyrics go, you say jump, I say how high, you're brain dead, you've got a bullet in your head. Right. Um, so it's not really a very intelligent philosophy. So um, there yes, companies are on a from their perspective, they're on a win-win strategy because they can get everything they want. And if they can't get it, they'll from from their present employees, they'll get it from the next line of people who are lining up because they're getting 500 applications a day for jobs that don't even exist and aren't even advertised because sure. people really, really, really want to work. And... Mm -hmm. um, because because work gives them meaning in life, um, mm. gives them money as well, of course, which gives them some level of power, authority, and freedom. But uh, but 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 really, it gives them something to do. Really, I mean that that's the, the basis of it. Um, so yeah, do, but that's an example of companies abusing the power of their situation. Um, we, if you are a dominant creature or character, um, you have two choices. Number one, you can use your power and authority of your dominance. Um, you know, let, let's take a very primitive example of a uh, big gorilla, right? Now, 
you've got two choices as big gorilla. Number one, you can don't you can use your strength in whatever way to dominate over all the other gorillas so they're all subject to you and they do what you tell them, which is what the companies are doing now. Mm. Or you can use your strength and authority to to listen, evolve, develop, and ensure that other people develop mm. as, as well so that everybody grows. In English, we say, a rising tide raises all ships. So when the water level raises, all the ships rise. Mm -hmm. And all the ships rise together. And that's really what um, an encouraging organization should, should aim to do. So it's, it, it's usually an abuse of power and authority, which we uh, see in, which uh, it can exist anywhere and everywhere. It, it's painted over with whatever ideologies people want to paint over it with, but uh, um, it's still very, very primitive. And it's, it's sad because it's, it's not the progression of an organization. It's the regression of an organized organization because it's a lack of ideas. Mm. 